So how do we find the percent compositions, or mass percents, of all of the elements inside of ammonium acetate, you ask? Well, good thing you clicked on the video, because that's what I'm going to teach you. I have a nice little table to help us out with this, and the first thing is we're going to find the total mass of the compound. Take a look. Bam! So the first thing is we're going to write the elements we see in the compound. So we've got nitrogen, we've got hydrogen, we've got carbon, and oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each. So in this compound, there's only one nitrogen. That's where the subscripts come into play. So there's one nitrogen. Hydrogen, on the other hand, you got hydrogen in two spots. So to find the total, you just simply have to add up the number of hydrogen in each. So we've got seven hydrogens. Carbon is a two, so we've got two carbons, and then we've got two oxygens. We're going to take those number of atoms, then multiply it by the mass of each element. That's where the periodic table comes into play. So we've highlighted all the elements. Hydrogen is 1.01. Carbon is 12.01, nitrogen is 14.01, and oxygen is 16. So those are the masses that we're going to write down, right? So nitrogen was 14.01, hydrogen was 1.01, carbon was 12.01, and oxygen is 16. And I wrote down 16.01. <laughs> um, next, we're going to then find the total mass of the element in the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross. So the total mass of the nitrogen in the compound is 14.01 units of mass. Hydrogen is going to be 7.07 .07 units of mass. Carbon is going to be 24.02 units of mass, and oxygen is going to be 32 units of mass. Now, to find the total mass of the entire compound now, all you simply have to do is just add up all the total mass of each element, right? Look at how nice and simple that is. So 77.10. And there it is, right? That was the first step of the process, finding the total mass. Now I'm going to add a column to the table, and finding these percentages are going to be easy as 3.14. Bam, so to find the mass percent of nitrogen, we're simply going to take the total mass of that nitrogen, 14.01, and we're going to divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, 77.10, and then multiply it by 100 because we need it in percentage terms, and this is a simple percent, part over whole times 100. Hence the nice part about this table, all the information you need to calculate those percentages now are going to be found in that particular column. So the percentage here of nitrogen in the compound is going to be 18.17%. Look at how nice and simple that is, right? Uh, next, we're going to do hydrogen. So we're going to take the total mass of that hydrogen here, 7.07, .07, then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, 77.10, multiply that by 100, and we're going to come up with a percent of about 9.17%. All right, great. And then we are going to do carbon. So we're going to take the total mass of the carbon, divide it by the total mass of the entire compound, multiply that bad boy by 100, and that's going to be 31.15% now. Last but not least, we're going to do the same process for oxygen. Take the 32, leave out the zeros for the calculation, but don't forget them in the sig figs, all right? Otherwise, your teacher might take off 17 points on this. So 41.50%. If you know what I'm talking about, leave a comment below. And you can simply check yourself here by adding them up, and it should be equal to 100%. And that's what I want for you on your next test, all right? We have a whole channel dedicated just to that. We get tons and tons, thousands of practice problems out there, solve solutions for you, just so you can try to get to uh, where you got to go. All right. In terms of obviously, you know, schooling. Okay. Well, that's all I got for you. Have a good one.